again guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tango and tonight i'm bringing you two of my diy slash makeover looks for my tv station over here so these are the final looks of the two items that i was styling or making over so to speak this first piece here that you see in the metallic gold is the decorative abstract piece that i did from just three yeah, it was three things that I used for this design. So I used some packaging tape. I'll show you a packaging tape in an insert over here, as well as uh, dry air drying clay and some plaster. The second piece would be the vase that you see over here. So this is a previously made over vase. As I bought this vase, it was turquoise and I was in my turquoise teal and blue face that was around about the time that we moved in over here was one of the first pieces that I bought as home decor. I soon got tired of that and I just made it like this plaster white unfinished look which was really very textured and I've been inspired by um, a few videos that I'd watched from Lone Fox that showed a couple of pots which were aged and I wanted that look so I tried to recreate it here by adding some handles as well as some more depth and color. So please do stay tuned guys to see how I achieve these two looks together and do um, or haven't yet subscribed, I would really appreciate a subscribe and a follow it's available on Instagram. So I would really appreciate a follow over there as well guys as I do post some content there more frequently. So this is how my piece started out as the packaging tape, which I just stapled to itself and created this free flowing frame, which I then applied the dust air drying clay to. The clay on its own was very easy to use and quite malleable. So I molded it into my hands and then continue to attach it to this strip. I went all over the piece with the DAS air drying clay until it was fully covered and you could no longer see the plastic strip underneath. So for it to retain its form and not flop flat, I needed to use some sticks as a brace for it to retain its shape. I then allowed it to dry overnight so that I may continue to work on it the next day. I removed the wooden braces that I had made as a scaffolding and then proceeded to work on the piece. Our second day part of this piece was to then add plaster onto it to try to smooth it over as much as possible without having the finger indents that I had while applying the air drying clay. I went over on the outside and the inside to get as even as possible a look. After smoothing it over and allowing it to dry overnight, I was then able to prep it for the next day's work which would include some sanding down to prepare it for paint. I sanded down the piece using some 100 grit sanding paper which I had in store. I did this both on the outside and the inside to achieve the smoothed out finish that I wanted. For the second piece that I was going to make over, it didn't really require a lot of prep. I just needed to sand down these two wooden pieces that I had split apart so that I could use these to make the handles. So once I had settled on the handle placement, I just wanted to sand this piece down over a bit more just so that it has a slightly smoother finish. Apologies for that guys, my camera had died here and I thought that I'd captured the footage of me attaching the handles but I had just used my glue gun and I attached the handles then I went over them with more plaster. So it was prep day here guys and all I had to do for the rest of this makeover was to paint. I opted for creams, browns and a little bit of black to achieve this aged vase look that I was going for. 
I laid that piece for the base to dry a little bit while I was getting ready to prime this with the black base so that the gold may be able to pop through a lot more. So unfortunately when I was recording this guys my face was cut out and I did realize that my video was running too long so I had sped this image up hence I'm doing the voiceover on this recording. I've just added a little bit of the burnt sienna. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because it's a bit orange. It's more of that terracotta look. I've used this color before. Now it does really, it dries really nicely. So I'll insert a picture here of where I've used it before, but I had also mixed it with a darker brown. I remember at that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with a little bit of the burnt umber just for a little bit more depth. So as you guys can see, it's actually not a lot of this that I'm using. It's just a small dab, and I'm not gonna waste any of that in the lid. So I'm also just gonna be brushing that on. So dry brush this and try to spread it as much as you possibly can. Out here. and as it hits the peaks of these little uh, textured parts that you got when you were dabbing on the <laughs> the plaster it actually picks up more of that color so wherever it is that I feel like I've hit it a little bit too much with the The brown, I'll just go back in there with the white or like just slightly over it. So I was going to do this initially where I do all the colors that I um, want to apply onto this and then just slightly go over it with the creamy white color again. Black, very little. Add a little bit of that burnt amber just on its own and then I'm gonna add this deeper it's a more chocolatey or dark chocolate brown that I've got here so I know it looks a hot base guys but I believe you and I have been here before where we're starting an aging process on a vase <laughs> and the beginnings look rather you know scary and messy and as if they really are leading us to a great big nowhere but again i say to you we trust the process and once we're nearing the end you guys will hopefully see what i'm talking about I'm adding very little of the actual paint onto this. And if it looks wrong or you don't like it, you can paint it or you can paint over all of this again and then start over until you get the desired look. So I'll just give this a bit of a break and let these guys just dry up a little bit more. But I will be using this texture uh, spray paint on this piece outside just uh, to get a little bit of that stony texture onto here as well. So once I was set up outside, I did all of my spray painting on both the vase as well as the decorative piece.
So I allowed the piece to dry outside just to settle those colors that I had added on top of that as well as the spray painted on texture and after it drying I then went over it again lightly just to still be able to expose those underlying colors. I went over it lightly again with the chalked creamy paint. After the last of the final touches, I let everything else dry and up next is the look of the final pieces done and styled. Thank you so much for joining me again and thank you so much for watching up to this far. I truly appreciated you guys. Bye!